There are essentially two main ways to achieve this type of rotational parallax effect. One is through carefully guided meditation. The other is as follows. We'll take our home hero section here and we'll copy and paste to duplicate it. So we have two of these and we'll immediately duplicate our class on our top one. This way we can create home hero interaction and this will be a separate class based on the original home hero class and we can make changes to flexbox layout. We can make changes without affecting the original. Let's go down and remove our image. Let's set our background color to black. And most importantly, let's set a children perspective to 1000 pixels. And this will let us achieve the 3D effect later on. And for our home hero wrapper, this combo class interaction is going to let us temporarily change the display setting to none. So it's out of the way. We can focus on this. Now, the key to all of this is a div block. This div block, we're going to very specifically name this rotator, and this rotator div block plays a huge role. We're setting explicit dimensions on it, 400 by 400, and so we can see what we're doing, let's assign a color. We'll make it blue, but we'll also make it translucent so we can see what's behind it as we're manipulating this object. We'll make sure everything is justified using Flexbox, we're centering everything, and we'll create a page trigger interaction based on when the mouse is moving in the viewport. And when the mouse moves, we're going to play a mouse animation. We'll create a new mouse animation. We can call this something creative like awesome rotation. And we'll essentially set two actions. At 0%, we'll rotate. We'll rotate our rotator so that it's 10 degrees to the left. And at 100%, when the X position is at 100%, we're going to make sure the Y rotation is at 10 degrees. Now, for our Y actions, we're going to do a similar thing here. And we're going to be affecting our X rotation. In this case, we'll do six degrees at 0%. And at 100%, we'll use negative six degrees. If we turn on live preview, we get an idea it's working correctly. But in preview mode, we can see even more clearly that this is rotating based on our mouse position. Let's close out now that that interaction is complete. And we'll adjust smoothing. This is the damping and bring that up to something like 93%. Now, if we're gonna add a bunch of children inside this div block, by default, browsers will flatten these elements when we apply a transform, even before setting an explicit value. So a great workaround is to apply a micro rotation, something like 0 0.001 degrees. That will preserve the 3D effect, and from here, we can build and use our interaction in all its glory. We're dragging in our assets. We have clouds, galaxy core, and a background. Let's drag in the background image. And for this background image, we can create a class. And we'll name this class something simple like background. And we'll set a few of these properties. For instance, 7,500 pixels on the width and a maximum of none. We don't want a maximum width. We'll set the position to absolute and We'll do a transform. We're going to transform this along the z-axis and we're going to bring it about 2,000 pixels away from us. So the 2,000 pixels away from us, we have a background image. And as we rotate, if we go into preview mode, as we move our mouse, this rotates just fine as a child of that div block. Let's continue and we'll go into our assets and drag in our galaxy core, dropping it right into the rotator div. For the Galaxy Core, we can create a class that, of course, lets us add style values just like we did before. In this case, we'll set a width of 2,250, and we'll set a max, same way as none. We'll set our position to absolute. And just like before, we're going to affect that transform. We're going to transform along the z-axis, but we're going to do 1,000 pixels this time. And we can already see, if we go into preview mode, we can already see that parallax motion beginning to happen between the Galaxy Core and the stars in the background. Let's build even more. We'll use the clouds PNG we imported. We'll drag it right into the rotator. And for this, we're going to create a class. We're gonna call the class clouds. And we'll start setting some defaults because we're going to reuse this class. Let's set 1000 pixels, a maximum to none. Again, this is going to be absolute in terms of positioning. And we're going to adjust the transform. We're going to move it along the Z axis, this time back 500 pixels. And we'll close out of there because we've now properly configured our clouds object. Let's copy and paste that clouds object. And this time we'll add a combo class called closer. 
And this is affecting the second one, the one we just pasted in. Let's set the width to 2000 pixels. And in terms of that transform, we'll go all the way back down. And instead of moving back 500 pixels, let's set that to zero. And let's move down about 250 pixels. And we'll copy and paste our clouds again. This time, we'll delete the closer combo class and assign obnoxiously close as a combo class. Same deal here, we're inheriting the basics from the clouds class, and we'll set 2000 pixels for the width. And in our transform, let's move it down. Let's adjust our Y position to move down about 90, 93 pixels. And for our Z value, let's bring it even closer. In fact, let's do something like 600 pixels and that's gonna work great. If we go in to preview this, if we go into preview mode, we can see all of these layers, all these elements at different Z values, at different distances away from us are moving and rotating properly. Now, let's select our rotator div block because we really don't need to see this anymore. We can select the background color and make it transparent. And in fact, we set those dimensions before so we could see what's going on. We can remove those dimensions. We can make it zero pixels by zero pixels. And if we do that, we can move around inside preview mode and see that this looks pretty great. We have multiple layers that are rotating. They're all children of the rotator div block. Now, let's go to our home hero wrapper. We're gonna use our navigator because we hid this before by setting the display to none. Let's bring it back to block. And of course, we'll need to adjust its Z index to make sure it's visible and sitting in front of everything else. And we can go and move our rotator object, move our rotator div on the top. And this will let us make an adjustment to our home hero wrapper, this interaction combo class. We'll simply affect the top margin and get the spacing just right. And to preview, let's go into preview, and we'll move around and see that this looks great. The interaction is functioning exactly as we expected. We can hover over different elements. We can move out of that object because it's basing this interaction, it's basing this rotation on our mouse position in the viewport. So let's do one more thing. Let's turn this off on mobile devices so we can only see this on desktop view, and we'll select our original home hero and turn off desktop visibility. So if we go into preview mode, we can see this interaction. This interaction is functioning exactly as expected. And if we move to tablet or we move to mobile landscape or mobile portrait, we can see we're using our original section. So let's review. We went through layout where we designed, styled, developed right on the page. We covered CMS, managing our content. We covered collection pages, which used that content to conform to our custom design. We covered collection lists, which let us reference and build links to each of our collection pages. We covered organization, where we linked everything up and set up SEO titles and meta descriptions. And we created an interaction that rotates a parent element, which has children at different Z positions, giving the appearance of depth as the mouse movement drives the rotational parallax. Now, does this site build we just did, does it cover every type of business? Of course not. But these concepts, what we learned here, can be applied anywhere. The point is, we built this entire thing from the ground up. And as Aristotle so famously said, the ultimate test of courage is building a unique business website from scratch, like a law firm, in space. And that is what we've done here today.